Hi, Gator Russo with Majestic Rider. So today I'd like to talk to you about the speed of gated horses. Uh, some of you who are new to gated horses, you're looking online to buy a horse. And since you're not gonna go there to actually see it, what you need to know is a little bit more about the speed of them. Some, even if they're small, can have a very big stride so they can really walk out, but it might not look that fast on the video. When you're watching the videos, see if that horse is walking next to any other horses and think about who you're going to be riding with. Are you going to be riding with other gated horses or are you gonna be riding with quarter horses or Arabs or thoroughbreds or any other breed of horse? The horses that have the overstride and more of those are the walking horses, but there are other gated breeds that can have overstride, the fox trotters, some of the um, Rocky Mountains, when they're going slower, will have an overstride and they will walk out. So watch the speed that the horse is walking. Once you figure out who you're going to ride with, see if that online person can have that horse walk next to one of those breeds. And then you can see if that horse is just walking next to them or they have to trot to keep up with them. I see a lot of people get these horses and the um, horse arrives and the horse does not walk slowly. And that's what they were hoping for. They want to go fast, but they also want to walk slowly. A lot of the gated people do not ride slowly and therefore many of these horses do not walk slowly. Some of the breeds that will walk more slowly are going to be the Fox Trotter or the Rocky Mountain versus the Tennessee Walking Horse because that one has such a big stride. Now don't get me wrong, there are very um, lazy Tennessee walkers that can go slow as a quarter horse, um, but they're more rare. So you really have to pay attention to what you're watching. A lot of times in the video they're showing you the gate but they're showing you the gate the entire time. What you have to think of, does that horse just gait or can he actually walk? And how slow is his walk? If you're someone who's nervous, if you're um, getting back into horses or you're just older and maybe you've lost some of your confidence, a slower horse is gonna be much better. And so you wanna see that horse walk. You wanna see it walk alone, but you also wanna see it walk in groups of horses. Some of the greatest horses, the very brave ones, the ones that'll go out by themselves and not spook at a thing, can be horrible in groups. So you need to know that. And so you need to judge the horse in groups and alone. But remember, what are you going to be riding with more? If you're gonna be riding alone most, most of the time, then one that's not good in groups might be fine for you. But if you're gonna be riding in groups most of the time, then a one that rides in a group well would be better and one that rides alone not so well might be better because you wouldn't be going that often alone. So just remember when you're looking at these videos, see if that horse can walk slow. You know how regular horses walk, um, but you have to realize that not all horses are the same and go the same speeds. And so it might not even look very fast on the video. That horse might be coming, uh, covering a fair amount of area in one stride. But if you want to walk, remember it's more important that you get a horse that walks than that gates well. Because if you're walking most of the time and you're only gating occasionally, well, you can always work on gait, but it's much harder to teach a horse that's very fast to slow down. And if you don't do it right, you know, if that's that horse's temperament, it can keep coming back over and over again. Remember, most all the other breeds of horses are taught, are taught to walk, trot, and canter. And many of them will walk slow over time as they get bored. But many of the gated horses are not taught in the arena like that, so they have not done a lot of walking. People go on the trail and sometimes they gate the entire time. And so you need to realize that. And so if you want one that walks slowly, you need to see it in a video if you're not going to go there and try it. I always recommend you go and try it. I think it's worth the plane ride. It's worth the hassle because then you know if it's a right fit. 
when the horse arrives otherwise and it's a fast horse uh remember you bought it so you have to realize that now you're going to have to work with it and try to make this work out or you're going to have to resell it and those things are fine you want to get a horse that works out but i always feel bad for the horse that's been shipped across the country and now he's being passed around uh, because people don't understand him and nobody's willing to put the training on him and maybe he's too fast for what they wanted but you know that's not his fault there uh, most all these people post videos but you have to watch it with a keen eye and you have to remember is this horse going to be right for me is he slow enough for me if this is your first gated horse and you're used to quarter horses or something that walks kind of slow then one of these fast gated horses is not going to increase your confidence it's going to take it away so you want to make sure you know even though these horses are calm they are usually much faster than the regular horses and you have to get something that's going to fit your lifestyle